Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft, the 1.7.10 pack. And today I'm not going to be joining Nano because he is online, he's just doing his own thing. We agree that this episode is going to be a solo episode. And as you can see from last episode, there has been some upgrading. So I've been on mining a hell of a lot and building a hell of a lot. So I, uh, if I come outside, I've basically uh, sorted the front of my cave entrance out with um, some nice stuff and stairs and things and then done the interior my cave is still off this way uh, that's still got stuff to expand into but I've got a door and Nano's just not playing the 1.7.10 pack at the moment he's building over in the mage life area because this is the same server so if you see Nano messing about in chat and spamming himself stuff changing game modes that's why he's not cheating on this so uh, on this pack whatsoever but as you can see our our power is doing quite well I've got a capacitor bank now they were relatively easy to make and as you can see we've got pulverizer uh, furnace same stuff as last time but now it's all set up in automatic loop and we've got a crystal chest as you can see I'll come to this stuff later I went mining for ages solely looking for diamonds because I wanted to get a quarry for this episode and I found quite a few and I used them all to craft uh, crystal chests and the quarry and there's some leftover stuff but yeah we've uh, we've got that stuff sorted so in this episode we are going to be setting the quarry up and we're not going to be hooking it straight up to this setup we're just going to be plonking a crystal chest on top of it and just letting it run with sterling engines and leaving that to go for a while and we're going to do that over in the cave over this end and it's just going to be left in the cave, essentially. Let's get a bit of uh, this French brick to put on the door. There we are. Uh, where's my hammer? Where's my carpenter's hammer? There it is. There we are. So if we go out here, you can see that I have no idea how long I've been recording. I better start a timer. Because then we could go on for hours or like five minutes. So we'll start now and say we'll add like five minutes on the end or something. But in here there's just a cave and not a lot. So what I want to do is make myself some more space. And how do we do that? Well, no better way than plonking down a quarry that's going to excavate a giant hole in it. And at the moment you can see it's doing fancy weird strange things we may need a pipe coming to think of it for all the stuff to go into this chest but I mean they've changed build craft since I last played maybe maybe I should probably get a pipe a wooden pipe uh, I think I have a spare I do indeed I'll get a wooden pipe there we go that's what we need we need a wooden pipe but the thing is now uh, once we give these redstone, uh, these engines a redstone signal, what did Nano say nothing? They will dig out a giant hole, give me all the resources in there. And the idea is, I'm going to keep checking on this and empty out the ores and manually put them into this system. And hopefully we don't run out of coal because there's quite a bit here. But let's give it a redstone signal. There we are. So now, yep, it's it's sort of stopping in place. I hear digging. Oh, that's certainly sounding quite good. Perhaps I shouldn't stand in the way. But yeah, it's basically excavating the area where the drill's going to go. None of that's going into this chest yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> what if I place that there? No, not there. I don't want to place it there. What if I place that in the area, will, will that just destroy itself? Oh, it is. Yeah, as you can see, it's sort of working away and getting all the stuff destroyed and out of the way. And that's going to do its thing slowly. And then it's going to start giving us all of the materials. So we should never run out of stuff for a while if I just keep that going. And hopefully it gives me more coal than I use to run it, if that makes sense. So then I can use uh, more coal to power this stuff uh, whilst I'm over any and hopefully this chest should fill up pretty quickly because I was looking at a jetpack and that's what I want to work to next and the mechanism jetpack isn't that difficult to get it just requires some iron and redstone and stuff like that but 
I want to get a good backlog of supplies before I do that. And I'm recording this on the day before it releases. I'm recording this on the Saturday. It goes out on the Sunday. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a good it's a good series. It's a bit like my Lord of the Rings series. I could just sit here and ramble for too long because the first episode, the ones I do with Nano, we just sit in a voice call for like an hour and then cut it up into a 20 minute episode. And I'm thinking this this episode I'm gonna sit and record for 20 minutes and then upload it rather than uh, an hour because. Uh, when I'm talking to Nano, I don't necessarily get as much progress done as I would on my own. And now I'm on my own, I'll get a lot more done. And plus I have stuff to show you, like this this build here. I haven't shown you anything about that. I just used materials that I had and used a... Uh, I used forged microblocks to create the painting frame and all this stuff. Chiseled torches, chiseled cobblestone, chiseled dark oak with planks to make this beautiful floor. My bed's still a bit boring in the corner because, you know, it's it's a normal bed. I don't have a carpenter's bed yet. A carpenter's, a carpenter's bed. From Nano, everyone. But yeah, uh, that's what I need, a carpenter's bed. Morning, Mr. Nano. And yeah, we just need to get more stuff because 50 iron is not, is not enough. I want to get more stuff. And this is taking its sweet time. It's only done... Like one layer of the quarry so far, not even that. So we're gonna let it go, gonna make it keep going. We're gonna go see whether Nano's done anything else. Oh, it looks that he has. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, he has. He's got this. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, he's definitely got something else. He's got a tinker smeltery full of copper and blood and co copper and blood. Well, congratulations, Nano, for having copper and blood. But apart from that, he hasn't really done anything else. And that silent bit there was because I sneezed and I did a tactical mute, which, you know, is always a good thing to do. That's not my cave. My cave's over here. It's not even a cave anymore, it's just a house. And it's a beautiful house in that. I mean, let's see how this is getting on. This is getting on well. It'll be done in no time. But yeah, uh, some stuff I want to look at is Mr. Crayfish furniture. So if I go at Mr. Crayfish. Ooh, I might be on cheat mode. No, I'm on recipe mode, good. Uh, it's just because I was helping Nano with some building. So if I wanted to spice this place up, uh, maybe get uh, some stuff for like stuff for the house. What would I need to get? So if I wanted a bedside cabinet, two chests, and that. Um, let's see, what could I use in here that would look nice? Maybe some stuff to go on the walls. Oh, we could have a doorbell. We're having a doorbell. Uh, redstone. Wood. Let's go. We're definitely getting a doorbell. What do we need with the... I think it was a button. No? What did the doorbell want? Oh, does it have to be a stone button? That means I have to smelt a bit of cobblestone. Uh, chisel... That's not how chisels work. As you could tell, I'm really good at this pack. I'll put that lever back. Nope. Lever back with my thing. Furnace. Why don't I just use the redstone furnace? Don't even know why I still have a furnace out. Oh, by the way. Update. I'm still ill. I still am very, very ill. Oh, a ceiling light. That could be cool. Glowstone, no thanks. But yeah. I'm still ill somehow. I don't know how. It's not going away. It's ridiculous. I don't know why I'm still ill. It's, it's actually getting on my nerves now. It's been weeks. But we have a doorbell. It's good. We have a doorbell. It's what we need. 
put that there. How cool is that? So we have a doorbell. Got some advancements for it, or achievements as they're called at the moment. But yeah. Oh wow, this has gone well. I actually walk up here now. So yeah, it's just taking out all this stuff to make space for the actual quarry structure to build. And then it's going to have a drill arm and it's going to give me all the stuff. Which should be good. So yeah, the idea is that this episode is dedicated to the quarry. Uh, so basically each episode I'm going to dedicate it to something new. So last episode it was getting settled and getting this uh, stuff set up. This episode it's getting this quarry set up. And I reckon next episode it'll either be the jetpack or the shower. I can't afford a shower. But next episode it'll probably getting solar power set up and getting a permanent power solution. Which should be cool. But yeah, this quarry's doing its thing. And I mean we've we're about halfway through the episode now. So why don't I take a cut and then we'll come back when the quarry's started its cycle. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so now the uh, quarry is almost done clearing out the area. So we'll give it a little bit. And I just realized I've recorded the entire episode on windowed mode with my taskbar in the bottom. So I'm going to do my best in editing to crop that out and hope for the best. But I'm going to keep it consistent and not record the rest of it in uh, full screen. We'll continue recording, uh, recording in windowed mode. Uh, so I can keep it the same if it changes the look of it when I crop it out. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we're almost done. Just a few blocks now in the corner and over there. And this random dirt block. That hopefully it'll get rid of in a minute. Because that'll be annoying if that just stays there. Oh gosh. Okay, so it's not getting rid of that. We'll, we'll remove it. There we go. <laughs> It's built, okay, it's going. It's doing stuff. It's quarrying. <laughs> Hooray. We're getting stuff, yay. Ah. Oh. Amazing. I could just sit here and watch this all day. What does the map look like? Yeah, there's just a big square behind my house. But it's good, we have space now we can use when this finishes, we can Expand our base off over in this direction. And there's plenty of pre dug out space to use, but yeah. This I could tell is going to fill up very quickly, so I need to keep my mind on emptying it regularly. Yeah. So essentially. Oh, there's coal, which is good because then we can refuel these engines. I've already refil refilled them a little bit with some spare coal I had. But yeah, we can already see that we're going to get loads of ores. And this thing is just going to tunnel all the way down, 75 layers, straight down, to bedrock. And get us all the stuff that's there, and then I can move it, and it will continue doing the exact same thing uh, somewhere else. Which is good, which is nice. And the only thing we don't want to do is fall in here. That would be very, very bad. Because if we fall in the quarry when it's down at bedrock, we're dying. And that's that's the end of us. But yeah, as you can see, it's going well. Hopefully, we'll get some walls coming through soon. I mean, we don't just want andesite, cobble, and dirt, and a bit of marble. We're gonna get a, a variety of stuff. I just realised we're gonna get loads and loads of stuff, which is good for expanding our house. But yeah, let's let's just see. That's essentially what we needed to get done this episode. Pretty much done. That was my aim, is get the quarry done. I mean, well, we've already got a fair bit of stuff, just from leaving it a little bit. But yeah, it's going to go over the ores in a minute. So yeah, I don't really know what else to do this episode. We've still got a good, like, seven minutes of run time to fill up, because I want every episode to be over 20 minutes at least. So what do we need for a solar... It's for a solar generator. Huh. Yeah. That's a little expensive. What about for a mechanism solar generator? 
stained glass of some description or is it no it's just glass panes enriched alloy and osmium ingots enriched alloy is a metallurgic infuser with redstone and iron Meta metallurgic allergic there we go that's that we could do that we can metallurgically infuse things is it one two three four one two osmium in the middle and two ferro we can do this that is something we can do needs power hmm Temporarily, let's do that and that. Oh no, that's because that's the input, isn't it? Let's do that and that. There we are, we got power now. And we got essence. Uh, okay, so we need some breadstone and some iron. So how many for solar? For solar power, for solar generate we need two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, so we need seven iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll just chuck all my redstone. Wait, no, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I want to know, does it take one redstone for one enriched thing? Because if it doesn't, I'm going to be really annoyed. It does, it takes one for one, good. More essence. What? What? What's, na what's Nano trying to suggest? Confused. Oh, we got stuff. We got coal, copper. Dense coal in there as well. Yeah, we're definitely going to refuel our coal supplies. Definitely. You just have to remember to keep emptying this every so often, like cobble and stuff. What we need is more diamonds to make a diamond pipe. Uh, he wants to change it to daylight cycle. I'll tell him. I'll be done in five minutes. So, we got this metallurgic infuser. We'll just temporarily put that over there. Need that chest put back. How much stuff do we still have in here? Oh, plenty. So, what do we need? We need. We've got them. Osmium dust. Glass panes and more redstone. Well, we have enough redstone to do those. We need. What else? Yeah, what do we need? We need. Uh, three osmium ingots for each one. We can do that. And we just need nine glass panes. So we've got glass, panes, good, perfect, we can do that. So we can start working on our ultimate power solution right now. So we have them. Now to get a solar generator. We need to get it to like an advanced solar generator, but that's quite expensive. So we'll get it to a solar generator, we need one of them. We need four redstone, three gold, two of them. Two gold. Ah. Ooh. Well, we can't do this yet, but we'll work on it. We'll wait for the quarry to do some stuff and get more stuff, like redstone and gold. But apart from that, yeah, we can leave that going. And between episodes, if we get any like diamonds and stuff, I will create a diamond pipe to filter out the cobble and the dirt and stuff like that and just chuck it on the floor or something 
and then we can leave this going when I'm not online which will be quite good that will be definitely be good and I mean let's let's we haven't got a thumbnail so let's get a thumbnail there we are that is good that is good I'm probably gonna be quite quiet here sneezed again oops but yeah we need more redstone we need more gold and we need some stuff to get this set up we can get that pulverized osmium we need two of it there we are and put that back where we need it to connect onto that really oh that's annoying all right we'll have to pick this up put it back down no we can't put it that way we have to put it the other way oh this is infuriating why did i have to break the chest That now needs to point back into the pipe, which it's not going to because this pipe's here. Oh, why is this actually the most complicated thing I've ever had to do ever? There we go. All right, everything's fine. This is fine, we need to, configuration's still fine. This is a little empty, so we can use this 22 coal that I still have, just chuck that in there. Get that filled back up, and when that fills up, it will buffer in here. And then, yeah, we've got plenty of coal in here to supply these guys. And, you know, this is going to go straight down to bedrock and finish everything for us. And that was a very productive episode, actually. We've got most of the way to a new solar panel. Which is good. Uh, which will give us permanent power when it's daytime, essentially. But we just need three gold and four redstone, and then it's done, and then we can do that. But what we'll need as well is some sort of cable, so we'll go with conduit, redstone, uh, energy conduit. Here we need conductive iron, which is industrial, in, uh, alloy smelter, or induction. We'll go with an induction smelter to do that. And we need conduit bender, which we need that stuff. It's a big, big, uh, like, big thing. That we need to do but once we have conduits and once we have that we can make a more permanent power setup uh convert move this stuff out of the way make a whole power room but yeah apart from that that is all i'm going to be doing in today's episode sorry if it was a bit of a slower one but it was a solo one we'll probably be back with nano next week if he wants to be but yeah apart from that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode goodbye